morning. Welcome to Wesley's channel. This is Wesley and this is Wesley's news. Good morning. I was asked to explain what programs do I use. I've been using so many of them. I spent so much money and I don't want to pay any longer, especially monthly fees. So Premiere, Adobe, Avid, Vegas, I went through all of them. So now we have DaVinci Resolve version 14 and you can record your own voice. And that's what I'm doing right now. Prior to that, for those who do not know Blackmagic DaVinci Resolve with Fairlight module, I need to make additional explanation. It is a complete set of editing software with <coughs> colorist module practically you could have quality somehow similar to that used by Hollywood Studios DaVinci Resolve was a traditionally colorist program but due to the expansion now we have a full featured editing program and it is for free However, oh, version 14 is in beta and there is no manual for it. You cannot find the tricks. Especially, there is nowhere to find how to record a voice using DaVinci Resolve 14 and add it to the timeline. Few words about the history Blackmagic makes cameras and DaVinci Resolve. They acquire rapidly so many different companies and they actually made the product that is one of the best of the best and is killing competition like crazy. So the first guy who found that secret was Eric Nasso. I just did exactly what he did, went and purchased Focusrite 2i2 and this is an interface that will be recognized by Blackmagic Resolve version 14 and you could connect microphones of your choice. However, I give you a few suggestions of the least expensive and the best one if I might. First, plug the correct end of your USB cable into the back of the interface and the other end into your computer. Plug in balanced quarter inch to quarter inch jack cables or balanced quarter inch to XLR cables depending on the inputs of your speakers. Connect the monitor outputs to your speakers ensuring you connect left output or output 1 to your left speaker and right or output 2 to the right speaker. The line level signal, like a guitar or bass, you can connect a microphone via XLR cable to an input, adding phantom power if your mic requires it. And set the input gain level so that the halo remains green and not red when signal is received. If you want to connect a line level signal, like a guitar or bass, connect your jack lead to the input and set the line level to inst. So now it is the time to connect your speakers and your headset. Those are not regular devices you will be very much unhappy using them for entertainment. They are very accurate monitors to make sure that you didn't ruin your video while you thought that your bass is over right and actually is overwhelmingly ruining all of your work. Okay, 
So now it's a time to register your account with Scarlet2i2. Register it with a hold on the driver. Below you have a YouTube website for the guy who was first lucky enough to discover the secret. There is nowhere you could find it. I was hunting for it for so long time. Great amount of time saved. So you have this part where driver is to be downloaded and right below there is another link to the same driver. However, in the bundle you are being attracted to so many additional softwares and those softwares tend to change the driver for the one that is continued to them and your Fairlight module will no longer in DaVinci Resolve work with your microphones. Reboot your computer, go to your sound devices, make sure that Scarlet 2 i 2 from Fairlight is your default by knocking into your microphone. And that's for Windows. So the last part, uh, what is left is how to make physically your voice recorded. In Fairlight, you need to go to the proper place, then on the left hand side, right click and create another audio, audio number two, and that could be stereo is the best, but doesn't have to be. Now you go to input and okay go to input and now you see on the right hand side audio 2 right and left those are uh, the chance of your new track you highlight the left hand side focus right click ok and you're done after you press patched in left upper corner of that window you need to close that and then on the left hand side you need to press R for recording for audio 2 and you're done. You can record right now from your own microphone by pressing on the record button which is the round button here. There would be no indication of your modulation so you wouldn't know exactly how loud you need to talk to microphone but after you end your recording by pressing square button you would see the modulation on the track and when you go and play it you're gonna have it so you're gonna see my sound actually not adjust properly it is me presenting how you can record but also you need to know how to adjust Welcome to Wesley's channel, this is Wesley and it is Wesley's news. So I'm recording right now my own voice and then I'm gonna press stop. Now here it is, I have my voice and let me make it bigger. Okay, this is my recording. This is the track that we have been at. Welcome to Wesley's channel, this is Wesley and it is Wesley's news. So I'm recording right now my own voice and then I'm gonna press stop. Okay, so at certain point you saw that indicator shows red, try to not go over. I'm gonna show it again. So I'm recording right now my own red. voice it's and then I'm gonna press stop. Voice. And that's it. So from now on, we go from here, and there you go. This is your own recording. You can make it smaller and increase the volume. Yeah, and go like that. If you want, you can go with that here. Welcome to Wesley's channel, this is Wesley and it is Wesley's news. So I'm recording right now my own voice and then I'm gonna press stop. Okay, as you see, 
I mean, probably too loud. I should stop and make it a little bit smaller. And try it again. In Scarlett, you might need to have each one of two microphones assigned to each individual channel. And I'm going to present it to you right now how it works. So this is left channel right now. And this is right channel right now. And this is left channel right now. Right channel again. Left channel. Right channel. Left channel. And at the end. You don't have to buy it. It's too expensive. Thirty to hundred dollars with tax. This is for the guys who think big. Who also have a pleasure and fast editing. As a console, it is automation of all of the processes or most of the processes that you do. But you can do it without it just using your mouth. Yes, it's gonna be more time. So whether you are a scientist or a YouTuber, you want to play with it, you want to do a job with it, you want to make a Netflix movie, it's up to you. You don't have to spend one single penny and you can use the software. Not in 4K, but it will work. Or you can spend more money and have a pleasure of working with it. I love it. Come on, man. Welcome to NC's channel. This is Wesley, and this is Wesley's News. Come on, man. Come on, man.